we are amazed and so disappointed in the declaration by the state government of the dogs to down coffee there is nothing that warrants that Prato state has been a judge as the most peaceful protest all over the world history has been made that has never been whatever and whoever it is that is manipulating what has been done to try to discourage the heart of the young people that are trying to take back the soul of their nation i want to say this at this particular moment that the soul and the voice of the nigerian people can never be silent hello my great and wonderful people we welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program and today we get some videos for our table we want to be so one quickly to review to you concerning the ongoing protests which is nationwide protests we want to be say it don't take place since five days till now even on sunday people don't rest now yesterday we equally see how abc the president which is i'm a bullet in the command side say he want to address the nation and you all see everything when ABC in talk concerning that very video or presentation according to within the record. But one thing when ABC is shock each and every one of us not pass BC. Nothing when ABC this man address when it concerns Nigerians and the protests when ABC if they go on and every demands of Nigerians when ABC it make the stay for streets. But only for Amebola Tinibu with the OAPC government to come aside with show of strength to declare coffee for every cities and towns where ABC yes, they believe in Nigerians they gather in mass to declare their own intention to the federal government of Nigeria through protests. And one of the places now in the plateau state where ibc isa el bubai which is prophet isa el bubai the only man when ibc he don't stand out since the beginning of this protest even before this protest begin he don't already announce his own stand to make sure say he become the voice of the voiceless nigerians to make sure say the federal government of nigeria hear our voice through this very protest and now i'm a bulletinable and the old crook APC governments don't target plateau states and declare curfew for the states. And after that very declaration, then Issa Ebuba don't come outside to address Nigerians and also send a message across to the federal government of Nigeria. Say this curfew now will stop the desire and the demand of Nigerians. And equally, during this very broadcast, review the next move to Nigerians. Uh, I declare to you, Nigerians, we are amazed and so disappointed in the declaration by the state government of the dogs to down coffee. There is nothing that warrants that. Plato State has been a judge as the most peaceful protest all over the world. History has been made that has never been. The thousands of Muslims on the day of the protest, the first day, the second day, the third day, have been shielded by their Christian our brothers and sisters and today sunday the massive turnout of christians in their thousands were shouldered by muslims in their thousands it has never happened just a little issue in a restaurant should not warrant the government to declare a dance to down coffee whatever and whoever it is that is manipulating what has been done to try to discourage the heart of the young people that are trying to take back the soul of their nation. I want to say this at this particular moment, that the soul and the voice of the Nigerian people can never be silent. I want you to remain peace and law abiding. I want you to obey the rules of the game. And immediately, the emergency, the coffee is lifted we shall resume back on the protest until we recover the soul of nigeria we have the right and the legitimacy to make sure that our young people are able to regain their future i saw what i never believed i could ever see in the eyes of these young people and how none of them could raise a stick against each other but they spoke with one voice nigerians stay focused on this mission until this mission is accomplished we will be threatened. We will be threatened. But stay calm. Don't fight the law enforcement agents. Stay calm and make sure 
that you lift up the banner of Nigeria and no other nation and until we recover the soul of our country bad governance will end in Nigeria God bless you and God bless Nigerian all right my great and wonderful people i believe see you don't see the video this one are the short brokers when it be seen in release after every incident don't happen but it get another video when it be seen with the review to you shortly the video when it be seen if for speak to the public which is nigerians for protest ground yes where if for address every issue before the Nigerians going to be saying, come outside to protest. The president said, we are a law-abiding citizen. We respect the constitution of Nigeria. We obey the laws of the land because the Bible tells us to honor and respect the constitution of our nation. But any statement that contravenes the stand of the constitution and the liberty of the people and the right of the people, it will not be accepted because the Bible tells me I shall reject anything that is contrary to the path of light i have studied about the 13 points the president gave and to my own judgment it was a simple grammatical expression the speech writer of the president didn't know how to write his speech. So as the citizens of Nigeria, we, we will ask the speech writers to go and rewrite that speech. And so I bring you the word of Calvary. For this purpose, the Son of God came into the world. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Jesus left His comfort and His glory and He came into humanity. Salvation can never come from anywhere and no man can can never give salvation but God Almighty. The Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 19 verse 1. Revelation chapter 19 verse 1. After this, I heard the sound of a vast crowd in heaven shouting hallelujah hallelujah salvation is from our God salvation is from our God glory and power belong to him alone that means that God is the source of all power the Bible is very clear on the fact that God is the only one that has all the authority in heaven and on earth. And, and the Bible tells us that salvation comes from our God. So I would like us to join the crowds in heaven that were shouting, Hallelujah, salvation is from our God. Let the people of God shout, Hallelujah. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 The Bible says for all have sinned and they have come short of the glory of God. The reason behind the pretty comments that we're going through is because of the power and the influence of sin. Men have gotten into rebellion with God. They've gone against the law and the statement and the counsel of God. 
So the Bible says man became short of the glory of God. What the pain that we're just hearing, the trials, the tribulations that Nigerians are going through, that is short of the glory of God. We have seen that no man can save himself. No man can redeem his own life or can he save another man. Sin can only be handled by God. That's why the Bible says and God sent his son Jesus Christ. Because sin leads us to death and devastation. When God sent Jesus Christ, He came to redeem us from our sin. And when your sins are forgiven, God will begin to put in your life the new character, the new heart for you to abide by the law of God. That's what the Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Our hope is not only in this world, we are eternal beings. There is a day of judgment. Everybody will account for his works. Everyone will be charged. And if you want to have eternal life in heaven, then you must surrender your sins to God to forgive you your sins and give you a new life. Because nobody can deal with the matter of sin in your life except God alone. The Bible says that if you refuse it, the wages of sin is dead. It's not talking about only physical death, but it's speaking about eternal death, where you will be burning in hell forever. But if you repent of your sin, you will have also life everlasting. That's why I am not afraid of physical death. They have pointed guns at me several times. I have been fired with bullets. I have gone through more than nine assassinations on my life. I remember one of the times when the gunmen pointed their guns at me. I told them and I said, A dead man does not die twice. I am dead. I am alive in Christ. So you can never kill me anymore. Because I died several years ago. And by the mercies and the grace of God. None of those bullets could get me down. Because I have not finished my assignment. And I want to say to you. When you have the hope of Christ, you fear nothing in this world. Your hope is not in this world. Your hope is in God. Your trust is in God. That's why you are contented with whatever God has given you. You will never cheat on anybody. You will never lie on anybody. You will never steal from anybody. You will never manipulate anybody. You will never oppress anybody. You will have the heart of humanity. You will have the heart of God. And so today, it is not only those in the government, but the citizens 
we must allow God to take over our hearts. Because these people are coming from among us. And the only redemption is for you to surrender your heart for God to change that wicked heart. And you will see yourself stop smoking. You will see yourself stop taking heroin. You will rather love to choose. You will rather live a different life. I am a grandfather of eight grandchildren. I moved my children from, from abroad, from the western country, as a very successful children, to come back to Nigeria, come back to Plateau State, because I believe in the new Nigeria. There was no reason for me to bring my children back to Nigeria. But I believe in the new Nigeria. Throughout this protest, my children have been among you, standing with everyone until we get the new Nigeria. It's not talking about the new Nigeria. It's doing, it's acting for the new Nigeria. And that can only come when we allow God take his place in our lives if anyone is in Christ Jesus your redemption comes upon your life so we're going to bow our heads in prayer this morning and those of you who know that you need to surrender your life and ask Jesus to cleanse you from your sin you will ask him to cleanse you because he wants to give you a new life you must enjoy this before you die into eternity I'm going to give you just one minute I want you to talk to God by yourself Lord I surrender my heart to you I ask you that you forgive me of my sins and my trespasses. Wash me by the blood of Jesus Christ. You died and you were raised from the dead. And you are there in heaven, ruling in heaven. I pray, Father God, that your mercy will speak upon us today. If all of us have prayed this prayer, I would like you to lift up your right hand and declare this from the depths of your heart. And say, Lord Jesus Christ, I surrender my life to you. I believe that you died. I believe that you were raised from the dead. I believe you came to save me. Wash me by your blood. Grant me eternal life. I receive your spirit. Use me in this world to the glory of your name. I surrender my heart. I surrender my mind. I surrender my body. That you. Now I would like you to place your two hands on your head. I'm going to bless you. As I declare the blessing, all you need to do is to receive it with an amen and the blessing will follow you. From now, I decree upon your life the glory of the Lord will be revealed upon you everywhere you go because you are the handiwork of God most high because God is the one who created you I pray from now you will manifest the glory of God upon the surface of the earth I pray for you today 
that all the destiny manipulators any agent of darkness that wants to silence your destiny any agent of witchcraft that wants to silence your destiny I stand as God's servant today and I decree and declare wherever they are I ask that the Lord will silence them forever by the power of God in the name of the Lord Jesus you will discover your place you will discover your voice you will discover your inheritance in the name of Jesus I decree the blessing on your life any cause that has been pronounced on you any cause that has been pronounced on your family I command those causes to be neutral Realize right now receive the blessing of life you will have a beautiful life you will have a beautiful family the God of heaven will bless your marriages the God of heaven will bless your ministries the God of heaven will bless your career the God of heaven will bless your finances I decree and declare upon your life in the name that is above every name you will not be limited in this life Amen. you will experience unusual acceleration in life Amen. I pray for you where you fail before the power of God will enable you to begin to succeed there Amen. now Lord I ask that you will take over every life I pray from now that Lord you will be the ruler of every life and I pray that the blessing of the Lord that make it rich and added no sorrow from now I ask that the blessing of God Almighty rest upon you and your children children in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ according to the Word of God whatever you have lost in life God will restore them back to you in double fold any one of you that is sick in your body for this reason the son of God was made manifest that he will destroy the works of the devil any sickness in your body I command that sickness to melt right now I command the healing of grace to rest upon your life in the name of the Lord Jesus as you place your hands on your head I decree from today from today on the fifth day of this protest I decree upon your life that you will excel in every side of your life. I pray that this day by the power that is in the name of Jesus, wherever your star has been taken to, I command your star to be restored back to you. Now Lord, I pray as your children will ask what they desire, please answer their prayer. So I'm going to give you one minute in the presence of God ask your heart desire God is here to answer us begin to bring your prayers to a close as I bless you the Bible says, whatever you ask and you believe it will be done for you therefore today will mark a turning point in your life Amen. you will register today and you will know that God answer your prayer on the day of the protest on Sunday Amen. and therefore may the Lord bless you Amen. may the Lord keep you Amen. may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord sustain you. May the Lord use you as his own agent on earth. May the Lord raise your voices high. May the Lord fortify you. May the Lord sustain your children. May the Lord bless your family. Every aspect of your life you will never be stranded. I pray the blessing of the Lord that this blessing will rest upon you even now and forevermore. Amen. 
and the people shout the loudest amen three times in the name of our Lord Jesus. One, two. Give the Lord Jesus the loudest clap offering as we celebrate the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now we're going to do something quickly before I take my seat. I want you to know this that to every every freedom there is always a sacrifice to every every success there is always a sacrifice now I want to declare to you I'm coming back later but to say to you you have been empowered by God to cause a change in Nigeria. That's why you see me carrying this muffler every day. Because I believe in a better and a brighter Nigeria. So I want you to mobilize every citizen in this land and all of us tomorrow we shall be assembled here to hear the verdict of what we're going to do but by the blessing that God Almighty has showered on us tonight, today I want you to go to seven people and tell them I am blessed to be a blessing to you Go to seven people, shake them and tell them, I am blessed to be a blessing to you. All right, my great and wonderful people, I will leave you to draw the line for this very video, even as we bring this very broadcast to the end. I believe see this man, he bless you. All right, leave your comment for us for the comment session. We'll see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.